Thank you for joining us on another edition of Public Square. It is a program that discusses uh, topical issues from the standpoint of the people. Yes, uh, for about a few weeks now, we have been coming with a lot of political developments on the program, uh, issues bordering on the Edo and Ondo State uh, Gubernur election. Permutation is ongoing in the political space and of course a lot of issues that would definitely interest nigerians this morning we're here with another uh you might not really be uh, alien to what we're discussing this morning it's in the public domain already and a lot of people are talking about it uh, that is uh, the drama ongoing in Undo state uh, it's intertwined actually we have one currently uh unfolding at the Undo state house of assembly <laughs> it's a sort of melodrama yesterday it was not easy at the floor of the house uh, where we had a lot of uh, uh bickerings and violence subtle violence so to say uh from the different factions in the assembly well we'll talk about that we also have uh, a very popular issue that uh, unfolded a few days ago precisely on the 6th of july when we had the secretary to the state government mr ifeda yuabegunde resigning his position for reasons best known to him uh we do not have official reasons for that yet but I'm happy to tell you that we have him live in the studio this morning. He will tell us the reasons for that and some of the issues uh, surrounding that decision. Welcome once again and thank you for joining us on today's edition of the program. My name is Olabisi Olani Olua Shegu, and in the studios I have uh, a number of gentlemen who would be dissecting some of the issues with me i have mr adekonle adeleye is a member of the africa action congress african action congress aec uh thank you very much for joining us on the program this morning uh thank you for having me i also have mr alan shore mr alan shore is the media advisor uh to the deputy governor of Ndo state honorable uh Agbolaja. thank you for coming on the program good morning good people from this state miss salia biome is also here with us he is a political affairs analyst and a legal practitioner thank you for coming good morning listeners it's a good morning and of course we have the man of the moment right here with us mr uh honorable if it are you are going to permit me to use the word mister in journalism <laughs> journalism we do not use titles but he is uh, right here with us he's the former ssg uh on those two thank you for coming sir good morning my people okay quickly we get down to some of the issues uh first let's start with mr ifedayo abegunde you resigned your position as the secretary to the state government on the 6th of july a statement was made public to that effect but uh, going through that statement there was no clear court reason or there are no reasons for your for making that decision can you educate or inform the people of Undo state the reasons why you resigned your position as ssg Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I was appointed by Mr. Governor Luarotim. I call him Luarotim. And and the process before even getting an appointment, the governor was my good friend. As a matter of fact, as I'm talking to you. I can tell you that I lost a friend, a friend that used to be my friend. He has been my friend since 2012, when I was introduced to him as the leader of the party. That's why you are met the number. And at that point, he contested election under ACA. That's why you said I should work with him and try to see if we can make him the governor of Ondo State. Okay. And thereafter, we prosecuted that election. We lost the election. Back then in 2012? In 2012. We lost the election to Mimiko, a fantastic man, a good governor. Thereafter, we prosecuted his own election. 
at this in 2016, we, the leaders of APC and the people of APC, members of APC, we work very hard, including the Mr. Governor, uh, Mr. the Deputy Governor that is trying to impeach today. He was instrumental greatly to his success winning election. We work with other members of our party to make him a governor. He did not win. I'm going to repeat this statement, the statement that I, I made earlier, and people are cropped in that. I said we did not win election in 2000. That it was rigged for him. I also saw it, that report. It's not correct. What I said is that Akkadi Lodu did not win the election by himself. That we, the people, of which I was one of them, very prominent, and the deputy governor, Agbola Ajayi, that is now pursuing with hatred. We work assiduously to make him the governor of Fondo State. And Mr. Governor, having, after being appointed, he made himself as if that position is the family position. Shift and sit title of his, of his uh, uh, Akadulu domain. He personalized that governance with himself, the wife, the children, and the in-law. He took everything on my table. Things that are supposed to be my responsibilities. Saddle weight. That is normal. That people know that the office of the uh, SSJ is supposed to do this. He, he took it away and gave it to his in-law. Lakule runs away. And all of them. In what capacity? That's nobody. He, just, he, he, he took it to his office and then he now saddled them. To okay, well, we've heard such stories before. Uh, I think, yeah, Mr. Shibura was once there eh? well, when the deputy governor newly uh, defected to the People's Democratic Party. Yes. And the story we had then was that he was sidelined. You're giving us the same so, line exactly. of story. That is, his, that is his character, the character of Mr. Governor. That is why but, I said that he personalized the governors as if he was the only one that worked and won the election. And it's not like that. Mr. Mr. Regude, the, the question that uh, an ordinary understood person would want to ask you, given the story that you've just uh, uh, given us, is that we have few months to the next Giba election. You've been in this government for about three and a half years now. Why are you throwing in the towel at this point? Why, why is your resignation coming at this point? Yeah, the reason, you know, I started by saying that Akele Dolo was a friend, or is still a friend that I lost. I, I, I look at him at the, the ways that we can manage things and get him to do the right things. You're trying to patch things up. Yes, I even went to report him to his friend governor, Fayemi, Dr. Fayemi, Kanovikit, to let him know that this man is not doing the right thing in Ondo State. Ondo State people are not happy with him because the way he's running the government is to himself. I mean, the people of Ondo State are very poor. There is nothing going to them. The welfare, no welfare, no welfare to the party members. I want to tell you, he's beginning to do uh, uh, political uh, meetings now. No world meetings, no meetings at all. The, 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 the politicians that work for him to make him a governor, he sidelined them. Okay. And, and I tried to do that because I didn't want this situation to come into this point in time. But it's coming to a point that He's trying to be to win another election, and I'm trying to say that all oh, those people will not allow him to be the next governor of Fondo State. Okay. That is, and, and that is time. If I want to do that, I cannot be with him. All right, uh, we we'll would leave that to the people of Fondo State to decide. And that is what October. I'm saying. But um, well, uh, Mr. Allen Shore is here. Uh, he did mention the ongoing impeachment process of Honorable Agwala, which of course is part of the issues to be discussed on the program today. It is really hot at the House of Assembly. Members are being suspended. Some members are dissociating themselves from their own process. Other members are totally with the governor. That means we have about three factions, uh, well, groups you, you can call it, in the House of Assembly as we speak. So. Uh, what exactly is this causing the Agola camp? How do you feel about the development of the House of Assembly? Thank you, madam. Let me first um, salute the courage of the former SSG. You see, in Nigeria, what we need is courageous people at the corridor of power. Somebody who can say, 
look, enough is enough. Forget the official vehicle. Forget the comfort of uh, the office. Let us take this decision. And that's exactly what he has done. And I, I, I think the good people of Fondos have to salute that courage. Now, coming to your question, there are two major companies in the industry that have assembly today. Those who are with the people and those who are with the governor. Yesterday, or oh, day before yesterday, they tried, they discussed the impeachment of uh, the deputy governor at the plenary. And uh, they succeeded in signing, 14 of them signed. But I'm happy to announce to you that that process is dead. You know why? There are provisions in the constitution. There are stages. The first stage is that one third. Don't let anybody bamboozle you with all those mathematical configuration. It just means that one, when you divide 26 into three, one of it, which is nine. So the second stage is the response of the deputy governor. But unfortunately, the constitution says either he responds, uh, respond or not. The house can continue. So and that is another 14 days. Now we move to the next stage, which is the constitution of a panel by the CJ, the chief judge, judge of the state. Before you can get to this level, you need to third. What is to third again? When you divide 26 into three, two, you put two. So why this, this uh, divide 26? That's why 18 against six. 18. So they can't achieve that. So what it means is that the plan impeachment or the plan illegal impeachment is dead on arrival. And unfortunately for them yesterday, they suspended theory. Do you know the implication of that? But because the constitution is saying the total number of member of the House of Assembly, two third of the total. So why is suspended theory? Where are you going to get the, the, the total? So it's practically, legally, and constitutionally impossible. And I must add this. When Dr. Mimiko was governor, because of his background, the professional background, we have some innovation in the health sector. Before we get there, uh, let's uh, focus on the impeachment process first so that we do not model things. Yes, that's, that's, that's the point I'm going to make. I'm coming back to you, Mr. Right. Shore. Um, we have a legal practitioner in the house, uh, Mr. Uh, Ali Abayomi. Well, he's also a politician. Um, am I permitted to call you a politician? Yes, why not? An APC member, precisely. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, there's been this legal um, confusion, so to speak, controversy in the House of Assembly about whether or not the impeachment process will be successful. Well, I, I wanted to ask you if you're still sure that you have nine members on your side, because we had uh, a list in the public yesterday where we had about 17 names already who have signed the impeachment process in the House of Assembly. Are you aware of that? Of course, already. I have given you the analysis. That means we, we need nine have signed, engaged this plan impeachment. So when you take nine out of 26, you have 17. So either, they, either they've signed earlier or not, we already have it at the back of our mind that we have 17 people engaged. So, but the point we are trying to uh, draw here is that 17 does not make up 18. So the impeachment is deadlock. Okay. You, can't, you can't proceed further. Does that send some sort of um, uh, jitter down the spines of the uh, Agbola camp? Because just to get one more member in the House of Assembly could not really be too hard for the government. It is too hard. Even before they get to this level, you know the level of prayer. And that is why the nine people who are with the deputy government have to append their signature and let the public know. Because this a desperate time, you know, those days, they can ask, even if you look at the <coughs> list, the 14, if you look at it very clearly, you see that pe one person will write the name of two person, but nobody has come to say, oh, I didn't write, so we, we, we give it the, uh, them. But I'm saying that our nine, they are as solid, as concrete, and as telfast as the rock of Gribita. You're sure? Of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this is... Anyway, uh, Mr. Ali Abayomi, you are a legal practitioner. Yes. And there has been this um, controversy before now about whether or not the deputy governor actually committed any impeachable offence. Um, this has been ongoing uh, until we got to the point where we had uh, some members been suspended at the House of Assembly. Some are still opposed to it staunchly. They do not want to be part of the process. As a legal practitioner, do you think that this impeachment process is fair 
on the deputy governor. Do you think he's done anything uh, to call for this? Okay, thank you. Um, you see, the definition, the definition that explains whether the deputy governor has actually infringed his office so much for an impeachment to be warranted should be left to the members of the House of Assembly to interpret. That is the due, that the, the, the responsibility is being shouldered by the members of the House of Assembly. So I don't think um, anybody outside that house should have um, any form of definition other than what the national is the there, House is of there, Assembly. Is there, is there nothing the Constitution says about that? The Constitution is very clear that when they see that, for example, the governor or the deputy governor is incapable, probably through. Um, uh, mental or health um, challenge and of course if they think that there's gross misconduct now you see the constitution is very interesting the gross misconduct here it's a whole basket of issues so for this reason whichever fruit they choose in the basket that is called or should be called gross misconduct should, be, should be allowed is left to them now going by as it is i don't know i think um the arguments at back and forth in public is like jumping the gun. How so? Yes. The process we saw day before yesterday is very straightforward. It is just a notice of impeachment. And that is the first step of impeachment. And the Constitution is clear about this. It's just needed one third of the House. That is what the Constitution said. And you can't tell me, I don't know, I um, my math is not very good, but I'm particularly sure that 14 members out of 26 is beyond one third. So I think they are still in order. When it gets to, when they get to the bridge, let them cross it. The reason why then you also raise the issue of um, the Honorable Roger's um, suspension. Naturally, one of the conducts of the House is very straightforward. That if you deviate from the majority of the House, that um, you can't um, be brought down. And in his own wisdom, he actually retired before that. Probably he wouldn't like to have that in his history. And if in the House you have 14 percent, it looks more like a majority. Yes, it's two that is being required. But it is stage by stage. The stage with which they are, they have not in any way impugned the Constitution as it is. Why don't we wait and see whether two third of the House will not impeach the Deputy Governor? When we get to the bridge, let them cross it. Okay, when we get to the bridge, let them cross it. Uh, that's uh, coming from Mr. Ali Abayomi. Well, we still have a whole lot of issues to uh, set straight on the program this morning. We would also try as much as possible to take the, the side of the AKT camp. Uh, I will be speaking with Mr. Sakai Sufogunleye this morning in the course of the program. But before then, uh, Mr. Adekole Adile, you're also a politician and you've been... Uh, following events as they come on what do you think about this all development in the political sphere of under state uh thank you for having me one more time can i just quickly correct uh, what you just said that i'm i'm also a politician but can i ask, add okay that uh, i'm an unusual politician unusual politician yes uh because uh, i'm from a different line in my heart and in my head so can i i would have saluted the courage of mr abegunde for resigning, but uh, the idea that he couldn't give us a straightforward answer to why he resigned is a little bit uh, of a challenge for me. He just said, he just said, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he, 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 was he, he, he got there eventually, but uh, he moved around a bit and talked about um, the governor being his friend, and uh, it should go beyond friendship. This it, it should be about principle, period. Um, I don't. I, I think on those state should shift expect, expectation. I think on those state should shift focus. I think on those state should begin to understand that a new sheriff is in, is in town. AAC is no, a new sheriff. No, we do not. We do not. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, all, all right. I, I don't want to go there, but uh, I just want you to know that. If you, the, the way politicians in Nigeria now, the way they, they just switch from one party to the other, it, it beats me pots and pans. Uh, it, it's very difficult for you to understand what party 
a particular position is from because he must have changed over several times over. So it becomes very difficult for me to say and, and, and applaud the, the resignation of uh, our uncle here, Mr. Abegunde. Nobody is applauding. Uh, well, we, he, he uh, Mr. Shuwere. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. So, so uh, I, I don't think uh, we should be talking about uh, the reason why people are changing uh, from one party to the other now because, like I said, it, it's been trivialized. And secondly, when you switch allegiance from one party to the other, it, it, um, it, it means you, you, you don't have uh, a clear ideology of what you want. If you're having a problem with your party members, stay within the party and iron it out. Not, not switch from one party to the other. It, 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 it is because there is no political ideology from all of these party members or, or, or all these political parties. So we have to understand what is going on here. It is lack of focus, lack of ideology, and lack of uh, understanding of what politics should be about. Okay, uh, you, you heard that's a very valid point to raise, uh, Mr. Bigunde. Did you not match up your your principle with that of the of Mr. Governor before you joined this team? To start with? Correct, my brother. If you are talking about the issue of Abegunde, you should have known exactly what Abegunde did. I resign an appointment from the government. I did not defect from APC to any other party. That's please true. Let it be known. That's true. That's true. Okay, I do. I do apologize. Hold true. on, sir. It, 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 Can it, it, I just it, it, it didn't defect. It didn't defect. Okay, but 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 I'm I'm right to say that you must have been from one party to the other before. No, I did not. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, my party. Uh, I so, said, so, uh, well, 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 to, please, to, um, uh, can you just give me time? Okay. You know, right. When he was talking, I did not interrupt him. Yeah. You see, I said within the short term, as I said, I said, Mr. Governor did not, was not concerned about the welfare of the people. I said, the people of oh, those states are poor. That was so why I asked I you. Said, that was why I asked you. Yes. If you, if you did not match up your principle with that of Mr. Governor, what was there? I, my principle should not be between, I should not have the same principle with him. I work with them. To be on the same team? Yeah, I, I work with them. I'm more experienced politically than Akinidolu. He was a technocrat when they brought him into this system. Will the politician work for him to win the election? That's what I was trying to tell you. And then after becoming a, politi uh, uh, a governor, he went back to his private way of doing things, the way he's, he ran his uh, law up in the battle, which is going to be supposed to be different. He's managing the people from those states. And you should be concerned about their welfare. People, most people in Ondo said now they can't pay the school fees of their children. These are bad. It has never been like this. I was with Mimiko, I with Agago, I was with Mimiko, and with him now. I, I tried to tell him this is what you should do. Try to be concerned about the welfare of the people. And it is not. It did not. And it's not trying to as such. I cannot continue to be with him. Okay. Then I resign from the government. I'm still an APC member. A good one. Now, talk, progressive. Talk, talk, talking court. about your membership of the All Progressives Congress, uh, mm -hmm. now you're out of the Akete camp, so to speak. That is it. And um, it was reported that you declared your support for one of uh, the aspirants. I do not want to mention mm -hmm. any name uh, now. Before before all of those unfolded, there were speculations that probably you were just on your way out of the APC to follow the path of the uh, former. Oh, for, sorry, of the deputy governor who defected from APC to the PDP. How true, what is the true position of things? Where let, are let, you headed? Let me tell you the true position. Uh, the deputy governor, Honorable Abolite, is my friend, a good friend that supports me in all ways, financially and otherwise. But he is a different person with different political ide ideology and aspiring differently. Yes. Okay. We, we, we started politics together in 2003. I was member House of Reps. He was chairman of a local government. But he is my friend. He had defected to PDP, but I, I am in APC. Because there were uh, reports that um, your party, the All Progressives Congress, alleged that you committed some anti-party uh, offenses where you were said to have met with some PDP leaders prior to your resignation. How true could that be? They lie, they lie. Everything they talk about. But they even said that, I, I, I mean, in some reporting, they said that, I said that APC did not win the 2016 election. Those are lies. 
You see, let me say, all of us know about this social media. Social media, when they push things to it, it's not censored. I can just write anything that I want now and push it to the, and then sell to, to the bloggers. And then they push it out to the whole of the world. People lie too much on issues today. Okay, Mr. Bayomi. Yeah, um, I am most, most um, happy that um, the Honorable uh, Abena and the former SSG is being able to clear the air on this issue of that APC did not win or whether he helped APC rig. As a matter of fact, when people like me read something like that, I felt there were law issues that could come into that, and if he's not careful, he may just get prosecuted. But thankfully, he has come here now and said that um, he's being misquoted. Uh, but that before, it, before you go ahead, please, yes. before you go ahead, please, so, so we do not um, cause some sort of uh, rancor in the House. He has made levels, a number of allegations against the state government. Uh, well, the state governor, the state, the governor, state government, the state government, the state governor, yes, the state governor, yes, or the, the, state, state government. Is the state governor, and in essence, you know, the governor manages and directs the affairs of the government, so they are, they are, they are inseparable, so, so you cannot they separate the two of them, they are kind no, of inseparable. Yeah, you know, well, we have, have Mr. 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 Yes, we have Mr. Saka Yusuf Ogunleye, who happens to be a member of the cabinet of the Undusted Governor, uh, Undusted Governor's Cabinet, he is uh, currently the Commissioner uh, for Youth and Sports, the Works and uh, Infrastructure, uh, pardon me. Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, and of course the coordinator of Akiti Mandate Group in Indo State. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Sakai Yusuf. Okay, okay, I have uh, Mr. Ife Dayo Abegunde right here in the studios with me, and he has uh, made some allegations, raised some allegations against the person of uh, Arakori Oluwaro Timiakri Olu, the state governor, and uh, would like you to make, to do some clarifications on some of the the issues. He said that the reason he resigned from the, from, uh, the cabinet is because it was sidelined uh, as the SSG was sidelined. It was not carried along properly as a member of the cabinet. Can you uh, confirm this allegation? Mr. Saka, hello, can you confirm this allegation? Um, Before you before you go before you go ahead with look you you're 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 really you're really now the achievements of Mr. Governor uh, as much as we appreciate that but that, let us not uh, deviate from the discussion what we want you to say precisely is okay probably I should rephrase my question at one point did the relationship between the SSG and the state governor go south.
By, by saying he left Mimiko, he left Agagu, and is here now. By saying he left Mimiko, Mr. Saka Yusuf Ogunleye, by saying that uh, Mr. Begunde left Mimiko, he left Agagu, and is here now, what are you insinuating? What I'm saying is everything in life is special. Everything in life is done by God, and everything is about life. It's going to make it be That's the truth. The truth is this. Let me tell you this. We made it a person that the best girl now, it is fine. I'm not fine. This is the only thing that does that. You know, they never try together. They never try the same view. They never try the same vision. This is the same tradition. It is not interest. It's not about, uh, yeah, yeah, some of us is as well, is as well. No! So why would you keep this time before you come away? Okay. Do you have, do you have, why is it the way of the all right mr sakai yusuf ogunleye mr sakai yusuf ogunleye i think uh we've had enough thank you very much for being a part of the program all right, that was the Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure in the state. So is also the coordinator of Akiti Mandi Group uh, in the state, uh, Mr. Saka Yusuf Ogunle. And he's been able to uh, speak to some of the allegations raised by Mr. Abigundi. I wouldn't know if you want to react to Definitely. what he said. It's good that it was Saka Yusuf Ogunle that spoke. Okay. That, boy, that boy that spoke was my boy. Your boy. Yes, I, I want How to do you tell you your boy. boy. Yes, it's my boy. I said when I say person is my boy, he, he, sat, he was with me in my group. When he said he, 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 he said that defected from uh, <laughs> EDP to uh, mm -hmm. uh, no from Labour to ACA, he defected with me. This guy that is talking, he, I, he has not talked ill about me. The way he spoke, so I will not. He just spoke to the issue, the actually. Issue, so I will speak to the issue too. The point of it is that when I said that Mr. Governor did not improve the way for the people, there are ways that governors and government do something like that. In a word of contract, ask him how many Ondo indigent are see awarded contracts to. Bear in mind that I am the SSD, and I'm, I'm a part. Of, I'm a part of the STB. I know everything. But, but because of that, I will not try to. I'm not trying to say everything because I should not say. It. But I am saying the welfare of the people is not taken care of. It's not by distributing money. To take care of the people, and they say it did not. It should be distributing money. But it has to enhance. Uh, they enhance the people from those states. Make them millionaires. Uh -oh. Let's see how many how many people have. Okay. All the ones well. that is uh, contracting. How do, that is consulting. How many? How many on door indigenous are doing it? Okay. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Adele, uh, before I come to you, uh, Mr. Shore, is there anything you want to add? I can see you yes. gesticulating. You see, sometimes when people hide from the truth, is unfortunate. The other idea said that the people are poor. Let me ask: Is the essence of governance to make the people poor? Is the governor poor? Is he not richer than where he come? Has he not built new house? Has he not bought a new car? Is he not having official cars? Are the commission not having? Why are we so hypocritical in this nature? The governor is driving on a bulletproof car, 2019 model that is above 200 million. As somebody is saying, uh, governance is not to make people rich. Oh, in those states, it's all you're producing. And if you have a, if you are a governor, and you cannot, the people cannot be rich through your program, project, providing a enabling environment for people to thrive on their own. You have failed. And that is the truth. So why would somebody come up that eh, we are not going to be distributing money? So why we are not distributing money directly? Does that stop you from giving in you know, on those where we have educated people? 
engineers. Does that stop you from giving road to contractor in Ondo State? Well, uh, Mr. Shore, you have a more serious, your camp has a more serious issue to contend with right now. That's the impeachment, the uh, impeachment process of your. Uh, I, I, I told you that it's dead on arrival. I, I, I have Mr. I have uh, a honorable member of the house. Uh, that's Mr. Akogwamoli. I thought um, you were going to let me respond to. Uh, you won't respond in 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 your time, please. Okay. Uh, allow me to do this. Uh, thank you for joining us on the program, Mr. Akogun. Honorable Akogun. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, I want to believe you've been following the conversation. Have you? No, uh, the conversation. All right. Well, uh, well, the impeachment process ongoing at the House of Assembly uh, just two days ago, an impeachment a notice of impeachment was served on Honorable Agbolajai, and there has been this issue of whether or not it is even fair on him to to be impeached in the first place. As the, as as the Honorable uh, committed an impeachable offence known to the House of Assembly. Let me get your question correctly. You asked me if you have committed impeachable offense. Yes. Of course. And what would that be? Of course, we, we received petition voting on gross misconduct, abuse of office, financial recklessness, abandonment of your office, incitement, and false manipulation. This has become important in the general government of the world. One artificial corruption in the general government. For some of you, the only and the government of the world are not of the deputy government of the state. To be the one allegation, allegation that cannot be substantiated against the elected members of other things. So look at this. This is. Politics taken too far, and uh, uh, we went to business on the state, the, the state and we we, we are doing what is consumer and what we are uh, what we are meant to do. Uh, as, like you know, what is needed for a notice of impeachment? The other assembly, we chose nine members to sign the notice of impeachment, and we asked for two members that did that. So, and uh, I can tell you what I told you that that impeachment notice has been duly served on him. We have a copy of, we have a large copy of his set decision and that uh, uh, impeachment notice. So, that, that was what happened on Tuesday. Okay, okay, uh, that's just a hurdle, uh, and you still have about two more to go. Now that uh, you, now that the house, uh, you said? Yeah, just uh, now that we're clear about how the process of the impeachment notice, the House of Assembly needs about uh, two thirds of the entire members that should be. Uh, Okay, we lost we lost uh, that call. We'll have to call him back and in the course of the program. Uh, Mr. Adelaide, you were trying to say something. Yes, uh, I, I first let me agree with uh, Mr. Shawure on what he said about uh, the people of Ondo State being poor. We do not deserve to be poor. Look, the fact of the matter is any government that refuses to seek the comfort of the people does not deserve their patriotism. But uh, the bigger point is this. You invited me here to, to speak about defections. We, we don't seem to be asking the right questions. And by not asking the right questions, we will never get the right answers. I want to go back to what I said about uh, Mr. Abegunde earlier on. I stand to be corrected. He himself had said here that he has worked with uh, Agagu, PDP, worked with Mimiko, Labour Party, not working with... Uh, not, I mean, worked with uh, uh, Akeridolu, APC. And, and every other, most Nigerian politicians are guilty of this. At what point of their political life they must have served in one political party or the other? There is nothing wrong in serving under a political party different well, from your ideology. Well, is doing us the honor of calling back. Thank okay. you very much for uh, reaching I hope you us let me again. That. Yeah, of course you would. You would. I'm sorry, I had I to quote in. Uh, Honorable Akogun, thank you for calling back. 
Well, I, I really cannot uh, assert that. I, I didn't know what I don't I don't know what happened. Okay, yes, I was asking you uh, if um, you are sure that she will still be able to pull through with the impeachment process. Remember that she would uh, require about. First of all, I wasn't listening to this program from the beginning. Okay. I want to know if they go in the studio with you. So well, that that's uh, not that is not important right now. Huh? That is not important. Let let's just talk about the issue. The issue at hand no, is. This is important. This is important. So let's do what this talk. Why is that? Imp why is that important? I can't, I can't be ambushed. Okay, ambushed. You say. All right. I have uh, Honorable Ifeda Yo Abigunde in the studios. I have uh, Mr. Ali Abayomi, he's a political analyst, Mr. Alan Shure is here, and of course Mr. Adekunle Adeleye, they are all here, and we've been talking about some of the political developments in the industry, part of which is the ongoing impeachment process of uh, Honorable Agbolajai. So, now that uh, we, 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 there was a list that was in circulation yesterday, we have 17 members who have, who have already signed, appended their signature to uh, the, old, the old process, meaning that we have nine left, and you require... A, the been Let us take it one after the other. Okay. The 17 that signed was for the suspension of the three members that were suspended. Let me quickly, before going for that, let me say hello to the gentleman in the house. I particularly honorable with that you are taking copy of the data. It's my leader. Yes, why? Let us see your bonus. I greet you, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Benga. Yes, sir. So, as I said, let me make it clear. The 17, like uh, I saw with you earlier on, what happened? On Tuesday was after our plenary, we had a parliamentary meeting, which, of course, nine members uh, didn't make themselves available. It was because they were somewhere within the district because uh, at the time the text message was sent to them for the meeting by the parliamentary secretary. It became an issue on our WhatsApp, and the parliamentary secretary had to, to screenshot the show to show the time. Because some of them were saying they didn't receive the message. When you switch on your phone and you are waiting, waiting somewhere, and uh, the text message was sent to you, you did not receive it until maybe one hour after. And uh, it is not the fault of the person that called me. So some of them are saying there was no meeting. We had a meeting, 17 people were in attendance, and we had the minute of the meeting, and a parliamentary resolution was taken. The parliamentary resolution that was taken was, was that. The three members suspended yesterday were suspended. Please, on the mission, they have violated the rules and the standing order and the code of conduct of the House of Assembly. Okay. So, it's a normal process. It's not, it's not a new thing. It has happened before. And uh, it, it's, not, it's not something that we have today. You are, people are not only called honorable members. When you say somebody is honorable, you must give his conduct. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Now that uh, you've been able to tell us how far uh, we have gotten up until here, uh, that's you have uh, clarified that the ones we saw, the list we saw yesterday, is uh, uh, for the suspension of Honorable Iroju Ogundeji, favor to Mommy and Adewale Williams, right? Now, about the impeachment process, how far has the House of Assembly gone with it? Well, I don't want to preempt anything, and I don't want to. It's the business of the House. What I want to assure you, I need to apologize. I'm with you. That has been done with the agent. Everything we do, we need to be, as we be the of the House, that we address the press after every parliamentary meeting. It is not my duty here now to be. Uh, telling you what we have not done. Today, we will be having parliamentary meeting and we will be having plenary. After that, I will address the press again and tell you how far we have gone. But so far, we are on course, and whatever we have done so far is constitutional and legitimate. Whatever the case is on the left hand side that we frame your point, can approve the court. It's as simple as that. You understand? So, uh, people should not mix politics 
you don't need to. Uh, well, everybody has the will and the father's will. Everybody has antecedents in politics. Some people are not faithful. The river and uh, some people say there's no moral in politics. Now, talking about morals and politics, uh, Honorable Akogun, talking about morals and politics, uh, you just said that uh, the deputy governor has committed impeachable offenses, uh, namely going right. You understand? So, for somebody to shout to Tana in the morning and say, Kusuba in the night. You see, people are watching our conduct and behavior. Because because of our because because of our time, uh, Honorable Akogun, uh, I don't want to believe that you are stylishly, so to speak, now referring to Agbo, Honorable Agbola's impeachment as part of the impeachable offenses you're talking about. Of course, I've, I've, I've read some, uh, some of the allegation levels against him. The petition Gross misconduct, and, financial and, recklessness. As responsible and elected responsible people, we are looking into it. Okay, if you say that the Honorable uh, Deputy Governor, um, Honorable Agbalaja, he committed gross misconduct, financial recklessness, which is what you are capitalizing your actions on, uh, would you say that the Governor himself, Arakunulu Arutimi Akredulu, hasn't committed any impeachable offenses? Remember recently there was this controversy about a, four, a certain 4.3 billion naira that was uncovered from, from one uh, secret account, so to say. Uh, is that not impeachable offense? Well, I think we have given the permission to that effect. Well, uh, even at that, we are looking at that in the, uh, in the house, the committee, the joint committee of the public account committee and the and Appropriation are looking into that. If when you say that, what you just said, governance about an individual. You understand? And a lot of people do not know the details of this 2.3 billion you are talking about. Okay, I'm afraid uh, we would have to end the conversation there. That was uh, Honorable Akwagun Omale who has been able to clarify mm -hmm. some of the issues. Well, because of our time, it's sad equally a delay. Yes, uh, can I... Uh, I'll, I'll, Complete your line of thoughts. I'll, I'll, let yeah. me just complete that. Uh, what I was saying before. There is nothing wrong if you, from a political party, work with a, with, a, with, a, with a government from another different ideology, but you must always remain and keep the integrity of your political party. That's how it is done in recognized democracy. But let me just re re respond to what the gentleman just said on the radio. He said, governor, governance is not about an individual. He's probably, he's half right. Uh, it's been said that the fish rots from the head. Akiridol is the head of the government. He has to take responsibility for any irregularities in his government. So I don't believe all that. But let me, to you too, ma'am, you, you called me here to talk about defections. Well, before we go ahead, before we go ahead, Mr. Adelaide, I saw an open letter written to the Chief Judge of the State uh, by your principal. The contents of the, of the letter I can go on and on to read out, but because of our time, uh, what informed that? Letter. Yeah, it's to raise the question of, of the good people of Hondo State that look, because what we are doing is not that the deputy governor is G3, is to guide the people along that all these processes are because he has just decamped from APC to PDP. And let me call it add to what the lawyer here said moving from one political party to another is not a gross misconduct. It's like I said, because somebody has moved from Redeem to Celestia Church. It's a picture book. You must, you must not mislead the people. The constitution <laughs> is very clear. So wait, it was, just it, wait. Was it, it was also particular about financial recle recklessness. Look, it, there was no financial recklessness until he moved to PDP. Um, somebody has mentioned 4.3 billion is missing. Is that not misconduct? Have you served the government impeachment notice? Students are dropping out. Doctors are on strike. Is that, these are these are critical issues. Have they served the government? He has brought COVID-19 to those and distributed it. No, wait, wait, wait. Have, have, you, have wait, you done anything allow, about this? Allow you, those are to, the truth. From the public. Well, uh, Mr. I, I, I uh, think, I think, I think, uh, me, me, uh, 
Honorable Shore. I'll take this as your pattern shot. Yes, it's part of it. I think you are throwing too much shots because it's easier that the um, you know the uneasy lies they had that wears the crown most times. Look, in politics, the ability to arrange odd numbers, I be even num uh, odd numbers into even numbers, like arrange three persons into two, is what actually distinguish your capacity. Look, he made something now. He's, he just said something quickly now. He said, if you leave redeemed church for Sele, it's not an offense. But for God's sake. If you are a deacon or a pastor in Redeem, you don't no, move no, to no, Selene. No, 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 you don't move. You don't move. You don't move. Then say that no, you still want to be in Redeem and be sitting down in their meetings. It is just, of course, the law is the law, and then morality is morality. Excuse me, please. And morality is morality. This is why we have jurisprudence of law. You understand? Law does not just stand on the position of law. It also stand on the area of morality. It is normal. That every other person in the party the question will I'm look at the him leaving the party you, and still want to sit I in the you, administration. It is a security legally, risk. Inclusive. I want you to talk strictly legally now, as a legal yes, practice, not as a politician. Is God. defection impeachable? Is it an impeachable offense to defect from one party to the other? Look. <clears throat> yes or no? I said something earlier. I said it would be wrong of us to assume the powers of the House of Assembly. If they say they cite gross misconduct, please let them define it. I'm it is not my duty. We're not even talking about gross misconduct uh, or financial recklessness. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the impeachment part of it. Is that impeachable? Look, is it part of the list that because he left the party, that is why is he being, is being impeached? No, that's not part of the list. So why am I supposed to answer that? I'm That's asking, not part of, no, 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 you're taking it personally, Mr. Okay. Ali Abayomi, okay. calm down, okay. you're a lawyer, and I'm just asking you, probably as a layman, is defection impeachable, yes or no? Look, <laughs> if, if the impeachment is in, a different ball in, in the case of a deputy governor. Is yeah, it? it's like you are trying to fill my mouth All right, with because a different of our time, uh, so, you're a politician, can I, can I understand. Can I, can yes, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, Bigunde, your parting show, your message to the people. Thank you very much. I think no, uh, I think you should have brought. I think you should have brought a a a a lawyer here, a pure lawyer, not lawyer politician. My brother sitting here. I was not say lawyer politician. Uh, excuse me, honorable. I was not brought here. I was not brought here. I was not brought here. Can I can I do the deal on Can I can I brought here on the position of APC? We have to call it a day on the program. Thank you very much for being a part of this program today. It will return next week, Thursday. God willing, honorable Ife Dayo Abegunde. Thank you for the honor. Thank you for coming, Mr. Ali Abayomi. Thank you for being a pol political lawyer today. Exactly. And uh, Mr. Allen Show, sure, it's nice to have you. Thank you, uh, Adekuli, Adele, Adele, thank you very much for coming. My name is Olabi Selanyi Shegun. Next week, Thursday, we'll be back with another topic, God willing. Good morning. Thank you.